Okay, so I decided to make a quick video about the somewhat confusing and a little bit contested idea of getting an ultra-wide monitor to go with your iMac. Um, because most people have got PCs and I don't know, it's a different set of like criterion and different cables and blah blah blah. First thing I did was I bought an ultra-wide, the 25 inch by LG, which was smaller than I thought it would be, even though I read that it was a smaller than you thought it might be. Um, but the problem with that monitor was it's only got two um, HDMI ports in the back, and for a Mac user, that's basically useless. You will, if you plug it into the HDMI port using a um, an adapter coming out of your Thunderbolt slash display port um, thing in the back of your iMac, it won't give you the full 2560 by 1080 or whatever it is resolution that you want. Um, so I returned that and right at the same time the next size up LG ultra wide this one um, which is the 29 inch one went on sale and um, that one comes with not only the HDMI port in the back but also the display port um, socket which is what you need if you want to hook up your iMac uh, you need to get the cable um, which is a mini display port going to a regular display port cable which I've got plugged in the back of my iMac the mini side into your Thunderbolt and then you come to the nice big um, uh, display port in the back of the LG and the moment I did that, it was it was an instant like resolution solve. Like I, I got the full resolution, even though okay, I should give you a picture because I do a lot of um, music software. So um, I now have like a proper spread with the proper resolution all the way across, uh, which is really really great for my workflow. Doing you know working with Sibelius or working with Al um, Ableton Live or whatever. Uh, it's really, really great. Um, so yeah, that's the solution. Like if you spend too much time, you know, watching other YouTube videos that don't tell you exactly what you need, uh, this is it. You need the, you need the H, uh, you need the um, Display Port in the back of of your ultra wide, so that you can run the correct cable. Um, and as soon as you do that, like I was going to say earlier. Um, you get um, all sorts of, you know, the col color sync utility automatically kicks in and you get to adjust the color so it really matches your, um, it matches your iMac better. Um, I've got a, actually, I, f I feel like the, 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 the picture on the um, LG Ultrawide is better. Um, it's slightly better quality than the iMac. And maybe the resolution is not quite as dense, but uh, I'm very, very happy and I'm, I was pretty apprehensive. I sort of like didn't think it was going to work out, but I wanted it to work out. And then when it did work out, yeah, I mean the uh, the Display Port cable that I bought, the Mini Display Port to Display Port cable, was expensive, but uh, it was worth it. And it was a cable made by um, shit. What are they called? Something like Link. Um, they are. Oh, it's the Chromo cable. C R O M O. So that's the one I got. It's a good quality um, piece of um, cabling that's made in the UK. But I, I mean, there's various companies that make them. Like Moshi makes one for Mac as well. That's that's supposedly really good. Um, so there you have it.